Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.5 and problem number 2.71. A prismatic bar AB of weight P lies in a vertical plane with its ends resting against the smooth surfaces AC and BC as shown in the figure. Find the relation between the angles alpha and beta when the bar is in equilibrium. That means the bar AB is resting against these two surfaces. Now our interest is to find the relation between the angles alpha and beta. For that I am just redrawing the diagram AC and BC are the two surfaces, angle between these two is 90 degrees. The weight of the bar is P, BC surface makes an angle alpha with the horizontal, it is in the given and the bar AB makes an angle beta with the surface AC as given in the problem. Now the various forces acting on the bar AB are the self weight P clearly you can see here and there is a reaction by the surfaces. The reaction by surface BC onto this bar which is perpendicular to the surface BC and there is another reaction by the surface AC onto the bar which is perpendicular to the surface. Now there are three forces. If three forces are acting on the system, for the system to be under equilibrium, all three forces must intersect at a same point. That means, if you extend this and if you extend these two, if you extend these two forces are intersecting at a particular point, let the point is D. Now, you can see that A, C, B, D is a rectangle because this line is parallel to this, this line is parallel to this and this line is parallel to this. Hence A, C, B, D you can find the, you can say it is a, a rectangle and A, B is a diagonal. G is the center of the diagonal, hence I can say AG is equals to GB. The third force, the P force must also be intersect at D, hence if you extend this P force, the P force will also must pass through the point D and it must pass through the G, that means it must pass through the point C. Now DC is an another diagonal, AB is one diagonal and DC is another diagonal. Both diagonal lengths must be same that means AB must be equal to DC. Now let us see the angle. Now this surface makes an angle alpha with the horizontal. Now this perpendicular to this surface means this one. And perpendicular to the horizontal means vertical. So angle between these two will also be equals to alpha. Because this line and this line are perpendicular. And this line and this line, these two are perpendicular. Hence angle between these two must be equal to angle between these two from the principle of geometry. So this angle is alpha. Now as we already explained. ACBD is a rectangle and AB is equals to DC because both are the diagonals. We can also see that AG is equal to GB. What is the reason here? G is the centroid. The weight is acting from the G. Hence, AG must be equals to GB. In a similar way, DG must be equal to DC because G is the common intersecting point for both the diagonals. Hence, DG must be equals to GC. That means, 
So AG equals to GB and DG equals to GC. That means AG is equals to GC. All the values are same. So AG equals to GC equals to DG equals to GB. All the values are half of the diagonal. Half of the diagonal. So clearly we can see AG is equals to GC. Now you can consider the right uh, the triangle ACG. In this triangle ACG, I understood that AG is equals to GC. What is the meaning? The meaning is that ACG is isosceles triangle. The, the two angles must be same. Hence, the conclusion is that the two angles that is alpha and beta must be same to satisfy the equilibrium condition. Clearly, we can see this is more of a geometry problem. 